हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दी ऑनलाइन स्पोकन इंग्लिश क्लासेस इन दिस मॉड्यूल वील सी वॉट आर प्रोनाउंस एंड द यूज ऑफ द पर्सनल प्रोनाउंस लाइक आई वी यू मी एट्सेट्रा प्लीज लिसन टू दिस पैसेज एज आई रीड इट रीता वन अ प्राइज रीता वॉज congratulated by rita's friends rita's friends demanded a treat from rita rita agreed to take rita's friends to a restaurant for lunch don't you find the repetition of the name rita and rita's friends irritating and strange yes it is strange now please see this passage it is the same passage but with a little difference please repeat the sentences after me rita won a prize she was congratulated by her friends they demanded a treat from her she agreed to take them to a restaurant for lunch don't you find this passage simpler and better to read and understand yes the difference in the two passages was not of meaning but the use of words like she her they them in place of the nouns the nouns that were being re repeated these words are called pronoun thus pronoun can be understood as a word that can replace a noun that has already been mentioned in a sentence some examples or pronouns r i v u he she it they myself yourself who whom etc there are various kinds of pronouns let us see some of them the personal pronouns like i v you he she it they etc are used as a simple substitute for the proper name of a person in a sentence possessive pronouns like mine ours yours they indicate the relationship between objects and people reflexive pronouns like herself himself yourself themselves are used to refer back to the doer of the actions interrogative pronouns they are used to ask questions who whom what which we learnt just a little back that personal pronouns are used as substitutes for proper nouns in a sentence thus they can refer to either the speaker or the listener or the person or object being spoken about in a sentence let us see this sentence please listen and repeat after me i will tell you a story and it will be interesting now there are three pronouns in this sentence i you and it i refers to the speaker you refers to the listener and it refers to the story or the thing that is being spoken about thus there are three things the the speaker the listener and the object being spoken about the speaker is said to be in the first person the listener 
is said to be in the second person and the object or person being spoken about are said to be in the third person. Let us take another example. Did you give the box to me? Here we have two pronouns, you and me. You, it is very obvious, is the listener or the person being addressed. And me refers to the speaker. Thus we find that both I and me are being used by the speaker in different sentences. I is being used as a subject in a sentence while me is being used as an object in a sentence. An object that is one which is receiving action. Let us see this passage. Please repeat the sentences after me. Ramesh finished 10 books in the holidays. He is a very fast reader. He has many friends and loves to give them books too. They are thankful to him. They know that it is a good reading habit that he has inculcated in them. Since a personal pronoun is used as a substitute for the noun, therefore, it has to agree in number and gender with the noun it represents or substitutes. For example, Ramesh is substituted by the pronoun he in the passage that you've just read. Now, Ramesh is masculine in gender and singular in number. Therefore, he has been used. Similarly, they and them have been used for the noun friends because friends is in plural number. Therefore, the pronoun they or them have been used. There is another pronoun that has been used in the passage and it is the word it i t it let us see what is it used for the use of the pronoun it requires special attention it is used to refer to non-living things a small child or animals when we do not know the gender in this sentence hold the baby or else it might fall the pronoun it refers to the baby. It is also used as a dummy subject or to refer to the subject which is at the latter end of a sentence. For example, in the sentence, it is lovely to watch the kites. The real subject is to watch the kites. It refers to it. Then, it is also used to refer to someone or something so that it can be identified. Look at the sentence. What is that? It is a plastic snake. Here it refers to the plastic snake which can be identified. So here is a table as a recap. It shows all the personal pronouns in the various genders and their use in the first, second a third persons as a subject or an object in a sentence. You may take its screenshot for reference or revision. Thank you. Thank you.